Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Marshall, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. On this side of the camera today, because we've got something very special for you, Malibu Corvette. Now the concept came about when Malibu and General Motors joined together to produce a very special boat celebrating the Chevrolet Corvette and if you look at the styling cues on it, it's very clear to see. Being the Z06 limited edition by Malibu, she's almost entirely based on the max power high performance Z06 Corvette which was the car of choice for real speed freaks. In test, she instantly snapped up 70 miles an hour with jet ski acceleration and incredible manoeuvrability. The whole design of the boat, such as these pop-out cleats here, um, is all built with the intention of, of keeping her as sleek as possible, giving a nod to Corvette's rich racing heritage. The tail lights at the back are identical to what would be found in a C5 Corvette. Underneath, we also have a power wave shaper, which you can use at the press of a button to control your wake. There's underwater lights too, and then Borla Super Sport Corvette high-performance exhausts with all the stainless steel work being meant. The trailer is a custom trailer built for the boat for the Miami Boat Show. It's colour matched to the hull with chrome wheels and an unused matching spare. And up front at the bonnet in true Corvette racing fashion, complete with decals and a comprehensive sound system just tucked away in behind that. You've got two subwoofers that are visible and then the cockpit, there's eight speakers and two tweeters. Now, uh, as we are on the subject of noise, let us get on to the engine. So. Straight away, it's the same Z06 Corvette engine being a V8 7 litre, producing an immense output of 505 horsepower. It is quite unique too in the sense that it's a dry sump engine having its own oil reservoir on the side. The interior is ultra low profile, finished in Corvette red, and it is all in immaculate condition. You've got finishings such as contrast stitch leather and ash grey carpets, are worked together with carbon fibre furnishings dotted about specifically those on the door handles next to the speakers replicated on either side with a true sports car feel. Now, in my opinion, one of the things that I think maybe went unnoticed by people, yes, there's carbon fibre storage lockers on either side of the daybed hatches, but the way that they lift up to present the engine reminds me of the way that gullwing doors uh, are fitted to, to many supercars today. Now, I know it feels like a sin having to close the engine bay over, but once shut, it reveals a daybed area that's A, faultlessly clean, and B, quite clearly unused. It presents a ski pole there as well for any avid water skiers. Now, the, the whole of the interior here, absolutely everything from the seat shapes, the seats, the colours, trims and finishings, the wheel, the dash, the carpets, is all the same as would be found in the Z06. We've also got a control for the stereo back here if you decide to let your mates drive, you probably won't. And then we've also, up top there, you can see the mirror. That was custom built for the boat, all beautifully engineered. You really couldn't find it elsewhere. For all you know, you really could be in the front of a supercar here. Uh, the boat is also fitted with a collapsible bimini top and the radar arch is collapsible too for transport or if you want to store in the garage. There's reverse spotlights if you're skiing in the evening. They're complemented by the underwater lights if you want to sparkle things up. As I mentioned, the exact same dash and also the same wheel uh, as you would find in the Z06 with the all Americana feel. So if we slide into the driving position, there are beautiful chrome finishings there you can see on the throttle. Everything has been meticulously cared for. Sometimes in a boat you may expect to find a few faults, but this boat genuinely is faultless. We've got powered sliding windows, which are great if you want to wave at people as you pass them by in the water. Let's stick that back up again. And then the attention to detail on the dash is incredible. You've got the perforated wheel, the carbon fibre trim, or chrome, which has just very, very recently been polished. And then from down here as well, the, the, the low profile seating position keeps you out of the wind. You can get good access and good visibility onto your dials. And then boom, that is exactly like the centerpiece in a Z06. Carbon fiber, chrome everywhere. You've got a stereo system, a 12 volt lighter. You've got twin cup holders there. And there's one of the vents for 
the onboard heating system. Now built into the frame of the seats um, is the exact same heating system that you would find on modern day luxury cars. So it's got heated seats so you can still cruise along in the wind and you'll be nice and warm while you do so. Good visibility back towards the back of the boat via the onboard mirror system and then you've got a little lockable latch for any valuables that you want to tuck away in there. Lovely, 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 lovely. Four lovelies for how beautiful that looks with Corvette being embossed on the dash and then just one final sort of take at the helm position. You're parting on the boat, you can light up the engine bay in red, lit up in red as well as the bonnet, set the ambience in the twilight, if you've got the stereo on, you've got guests here, what an effect this is going to have while you've got your friends on board. And if you're into dance and disco, it's an unbelievable sound quality. Rockford Fosgate is the very best in the business when it comes to marine sound. A piece of pure Americana. This is a statement piece. There will probably never be the opportunity to buy something like this again. So when you look at it, you can't just look at it as a boat because it's not. It's a piece of marine mobile art. If you were in Saint Tropez Harbour and you drove in in the 60 foot Princess, no one would bat an eyelid as a far bigger, better boats than you'll ever see again. If you drove in in this, everyone's going to point, stop, and stare. It is so, so special. Look at the price of mediocre boats out there. What are they? The price of, uh, as you know, Mary Fisher, 69.995. Exactly the same as this. It will always be worth that. Probably more in the future. It's up to you if you want to be the next owner. But me, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. Where fun in the water begins.